I want to talk today about escalator etiquette, okay? This might seem like a niche genre. It's not. I was at the mall the other day, and I get it. Some people are there for a leisurely, you know, Tuesday afternoon, which, <laughs> LOL, I, I don't know what that is, and I'm happy for you. I would like to experience it one day. But pe- the, the, these two women were in front of me. They were together, and they were kind of staggered on the escalator and blocking the egress pathway. And if you're from the east or northeast, you know there is escalator etiquette, specifically in New York City. You stand to one side of the escalator so people who want to fucking move can move. Even if it's, it doesn't matter if it's the escalator or if it's the moving sidewalk. You have to be cognizant of there are people around you that need to get somewhere quickly. That might not be you today. Lucky you. But someone is late for picking their kids up at soccer practice. They're about to miss a plane, whatever the reason, or they're just a rusher. You're like me. You can't sit still. You have to do everything on like, you know, on podcasts when they give you the option to listen to it at a times two, a times three. This is me and my life. Everything's at like a times four. And I move with the purpose and I need you to move aside so I can fulfill my fast life destiny. And I know this might seem so punitive, but it really isn't because it's annoying. Now I'm in front of you for the next escalator and the next one. And then I don't, and now I hate you and I don't want to hate you. So just stand to one side. You can still talk to your friend and let the movers and shakers of the world move and shake right past you. Fiend. That's it. Just move. Ha, <laughs>